So this is the S phase. Do you want the S phase check? <laughs> um, so it starts out, the cell doesn't progress into S phase unless there's ample nutrients available. And a molecule called cyclin-3 in yeast, or the analogous thing in um, metazoans or high, higher animals such as mammals is called E2F. So what happens is that cyclin-3 is not transcribed at adequate levels and doesn't build up adequate levels in the cell unless there is corresponding ample levels of nutrients. And the same goes for E2F, but in metazoans, it's more so stimulated by growth factors and less stimulated directly by nutrients. So under the condition of ample nutrients, either cyclin-3 or E2F binds to the corresponding CDK from the CDK list. Of Pokemon. Corresponding CDK forming the cyclin 3 CDK or E2F CDK complex. Okay, show me that complex. Found. But it's over there in that also black circle, there. right? Okay. This one's in two colors, that one's in one color. I like the two color better, so <laughs> I'm a color person. Yeah. You're a color person. So then we follow the arrow down here, and we have the cyclin 3 CDK complex or the E2F CDK complex, depending what organism you're in. And, and the E2F has to have the growth factors more than nutrients, and the yes. cyclin-3 has to have the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, because we have a CDK, also called a silicon-dependent kinase, that adds phos phosphate groups to its substrate. Mm -hmm. And the substrate of, the, of these complexes is a molecule called Y5, or what we call Y5. Wi -Fi. <laughs> right. I'm going to zoom in on Wi-Fi. Oh, Wi -Fi. hi, Wi-Fi. My creation. Nice. So okay. then Wi-Fi or okay, let's just call it Wi-Fi. Yeah. I bet you he'll count it right on the test if we put Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. He'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, Wi Fi. Uh, are we still rolling? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Wi Fi gets phosphorylated by the C D K Sigma three or the E two F C D K complex. And it's phosphorylated by the substrate, actually, but the CDK no. complex is producing the phosphorylation in the substrate? That's what you said. The substrate is the Wi-Fi, and the E2F CDK is what adds the phosphate to the Wi-Fi. Okay, thank is you. Is just one or more than one spot? Because he was talking about how like, it could be more than one. It substrate. could be more than one spot, but... But in this case, the, this is just the, one example. The progression through this pathway is done by phosphorylation of Wi-Fi. And because I'm dumb, um, remind me again what you mean by substrate. Substrate is the thing that the enzyme acts on. Thank you. And this is an enzyme. Okay. Right, and it's acting on Wi-Fi. Yes. Okay. So Wi-Fi is the substrate. Right. So phosphorylated Wi-Fi, or Wi-5 if you want to go by the actual name, uh -huh. um, is exported from the nucleus, and it's because of this, it's questionable whether it has a nuclear export signal that we learned about in previous lectures. Yeah. So that's one hypothesis we could test later. Um, we still have the cyclin-3 CDK or the E2S CDK complex chilling over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the nuclear export of um, Wi-Fi opens up room for the transcription factor SBF to bind to certain sites on the DNA genome of the cell that stimulates transcription of cyclin-1 and cyclin-2 genes mm -hmm. <coughs> that okay. are very similar to cyclin-3. Did he say where it bound to? Like, does it bind by... I'm just curious. I don't think he said where it binds. Like the promoter or whatever, it, or what? It binds and does that. I don't even think he went through this pathway. Yeah. Just... Okay. So I thought maybe you knew. Sorry, go ahead. That binding to the DNA genes promotes transcription of those genes mm -hmm. Which, which is positive feedback on this pathway back to this step, yeah. uh -huh. which promotes further nuclear export of phosphorylated Wi-Fi, okay. which causes buildup of C1 and cyclin 1 and cyclin 2 genes, okay. which eventually build up of those genes inside circle, the cell. Circle, and it makes a circle. Eventually, promotes bud formation and yeast. 
led to some duplication and progression into the S phase. Center some duplication and progression into the S phase caused by a buildup of transcription of cyclin 1 and cyclin 2 genes. Bam! That is the G1 S phase checkpoint.